Hi guys. So today we are going to do a hauled it, but how was it? If you've never seen one of these videos before, number one, you're not keeping up, which I'll let slide, but just, just get caught up if you can. Um, what? You can't tell your people what to do. Number two, a hauled it, but how was it, is where I talk about products that I've previously hauled, and I just let you guys know how I've been liking them. So I do have a little twist to put on things today. I've been twisting things up a lot, haven't I? I have a bunch of products to show you from previous hauls, but I also have a few things that you've never seen before from me. But I've tried them and I have a formed opinion on them, so I'm going to throw them in. You guys won't mind. I mean, it's extra products. It's It'll be okay, I promise. So I'm gonna start with the products that I previously hauled and then I'll throw the couple little things in at the end. So the first thing I have, and don't mind, let me, um, so I am sorry. Let me get myself together. So the first things I have are these two palettes from Wet n Wild. This is the Flirting at the After Party palette and this is Walking the Red Carpet. Why do I sound so proper right now? I have no idea. So flirting at the after party is definitely the one that I would lean towards because it's purples. Let me open them so there's not a glare. So flirting at the after party is this guy right here and this is walking the red carpet. I honestly love both of them equally. The pigmentation on both of them is, it's just what Wet n Wild was a long time ago. And that probably doesn't make sense to some of you, but I hauled a few Wet n Wild palettes, I don't know, a few months ago, and they were so bad. And I was afraid that Wet n Wild was changing up their formulation, but according to these two palettes, everything is back to normal. These are what I expect from Wet n Wild. They're beautiful, pigmentation is really good. Flirting at the after party, a couple of the shades I would have liked to have been a little bit brighter, but for the most part, it was amazing. And Walking the Red Carpet, I love this one so much more than I thought I was going to. These gold shades are gorgeous. I love them. And I have a little surprise at the end, so stay tuned. Next up, I have the NYX Baked Blush Plus Illuminator Plus Bronzer in... What are you? Sp ha! Let's try that again now that I have myself all discombobulated. This is the NYX Baked Blush in Spanish Rose. Thank God it didn't break because I freaking love this thing. I have it on today. I'm all about blushes with sheen and shimmer and glimmer and I just like that in a blush. I start out with a matte blush some days and I always end up going over top of it with something like this. It's just beautiful. It has really nice pigmentation. It's one of those blushes that you don't have to just go like this. You can take your brush and really get in there, but you still get beautiful color. It's, I don't know, I'm one of those people that I don't need my blush to be insanely pigmented. Now I feel like I have too much on. Hang on. I don't need my blush to have so much pigmentation that you're afraid to put it on. Some people really like that. I don't mind it. I can make it work, but I would much rather have a blush like this that you can really get your brush in there and just slap it on and you don't have to worry about it being too pigmented. This is gorgeous. I love the sheen this has. I love the color. I just love everything about it. NYX is an amazing, amazing drugstore brand. And Spanish Rose, it's bomb digs. The next thing I have is from Bite Beauty. This is the High Pigment Pencil in Velvet. So this, I have to be careful with. This is so freaking creamy that... I'm torn. I love the way it looks and feels on my lips, but it's so creamy that when I put it on, I'll do a close-up. When I put this on, the entire tip of the pencil like goes back and forth, and I'm afraid it's just going to break off. It's almost too creamy. So I love the way it looks and feels, but I hate the application of it. It's too creamy. It's scary. I'm like so gentle when I'm putting it on 
and it's so pigmented. It is so pigmented that if you make the tiniest mistake, you're effed. You're done. Like, you have to start all over again. So, as much as I love it, I also have been passing it over because I don't want to be bothered with the application, if that makes sense. So... I like it, but I don't like it. The next thing I have is from Mark. What, there's like a fuzzy or something. It's just my long hair. I have to get it out of my face. This is the Marc Jacobs Full Cover Concealer in Young. So this I got for my birthday from my mom. I'm sorry, mom, but this is total crap. And it's not my mom's fault. <coughs> it feels like a $1 family dollar concealer. There is no way that I would ever, ever in my life pay more than a dollar for this. And I'll tell you why. I'm sorry. I'm, I'm, I'm raging. Why am I raging? This I had been using for my blemishes and I kid you not, from the time I put my makeup on to the time that I left my house to go do whatever I was doing, which is usually about a half an hour tops, my the concealer was totally just gone. It does not work. It does not last. I love, love, love Marc Jacobs makeup line, but this was a total bust, fail, crap, crap, crap. Don't like it. Oh, I from try that again. I failed to mention something about this NYX blush in Spanish Rose. If you guys have seen these Too Faced Sweethearts blushes. I have the one in Candy Glow and I love this so much. It's one of my all-time favorite blushes. This Spanish Rose is, oh gosh, do not fall. They are so similar. Now this one you have like three shades that I usually just mix together. But if you've been wanting to get this, I don't know if these are available anymore. Spanish Rose is so similar. I feel like this is the high-end version and the drugstore version. So I just wanted to mention that, that this is pretty much a dupe for this. You guys know what I mean. They're pretty much the same product is what I'm trying to say. Okay, so that's it for products that I've previously hauled. And I have a couple things to show you guys. Oh no, I do have one more thing. Excuse me, sorry. This is the Anastasia Dip Brow Pomade in Blonde. I know I'm not blonde, but to me this is not blonde. This is like light brown. So I've been using this after I pretty much do my brows with my Brow Wiz. I just go in with a little of this just to like finish everything off. I love this stuff. Now I don't love this on its own. I've tried to use this by itself and I have turned into a raging drag queen like stenciled on sharpie humongous like thunder bolt brows it is not cute but this just a tiny bit of it just to kind of fill things in i love it but i have not yet mastered how to use this on its own you can go from zero to drag queen in no time with this product so you do have to be careful with it but I think it is genius. Anastasia is genius. I just, I love it. I know I'm not blonde, but you know what? This is like the perfect color for me because sometimes my brows can get a little dark. And this just, it's the perfect finishing touch. It's like the cherry on top of your Sunday or in your Shirley Temple. Okay. Okay, a few products to mention very quickly that I have not talked about before. The first one is from Josie Marin. This is the Model Citizen Whipped Argan Oil Body Butter. So I love Josie Marin's Whipped Argan Oil Body Butter in Vanilla Apricot. It is one product that I will not ever live without. I love it. I'm addicted. I'm obsessed. It is so good. But Josie now, and yes, I can say Josie, we're on a first name basis. We follow each other on Twitter. It's no big deal. This is the limited edition African Red Rooibos. Probably not. You guys know how I like to butcher words. African Red Rooibos scent. I'm going with Rooibos. Oh my God, Josie Marin. I've already tweeted her and told her what a genius she is. This stuff. Thank you, Jesus. It smells so good. 
You guys have to smell it. Oh my gosh. It just, I don't even know what red rooibos is. You guys tell me it's a tea. I don't freaking know, but I know that it smells like an angel came down from heaven and just rubbed her sweet little wings all over me. That may sound perverted, but it's not supposed to. It's just supposed to be, it, it smells... It smells amazing, and it's the same formulation as her regular whipped argan oil body butters, which they're not greasy, they're moisturizing, they're luxurious. You feel very like Ivana Trump, very like Giselle, just one of these high-class bitches. You feel like a high-class bitch when you wear this. It is bomb digs. The other product that I want to mention is the Physician's Formula Bronze Booster BB Beauty Balm. It's a bronzer. I don't know why it has all these names. In medium to dark. Now this is what the packaging looks like. This was recommended to me, to everyone, from Tati. Uh, she's also known as Glam Life Guru. I'm sure you guys know who she is. She's, she's just perfect pretty much in my book. This was one of her top five bronzers, so I had to go out and try it because I had never tried it before. I am so hooked. So, so, so hooked. I've been turning into a bit of a bronzer whore. I've just been loving bronzers for the past, I don't know, couple weeks. I'm just, I can't get enough. This one is my new favorite. It doesn't have shimmer in it. Now, when you look at it, it looks like it has a tiny bit of shimmer to it, but when you put it on, it's just this beautiful brown color. It's not orange. It's not too light. It's not too dark. It's just perfect. It honestly is the perfect bronzer. One of my favorites. I've only been using it for a short time, but I can tell you guys, I will repurchase this over and over. It is better than a lot of high-end bronzers that I've used. The last thing that I want to mention is a mascara. This is the L'Oreal Voluminous Original Mascara. You guys are probably like, seriously, this mascara has been around forever. This is colored, so it's special. This is in the shade Purple Obsession, which is pretty much the story of my life. That will be the name of my memoir if I ever come out with one. So this is the original Voluminous Mascara formula, but it's purple, and it's not too purple. I feel like colored mascaras are for anyone up to the age of like 23. After that, I feel like you can't get away with colored mascara. I think this is colored mascara for adults because it's not too much. I have this one today and you would never know it just looking at me unless you were on top of me. It's very gentle, like it's a very mild color, but it's enough that you can tell that something's going on. It's almost like you have a secret. It's like she's not wearing purple eyeshadow, her eyes aren't purple, so where am I getting the purple from? It's like you just get the color, but you don't know where it's coming from. So I'm going to zoom you guys in so you can see what I'm talking about. So I don't have any purple eyeshadow on, and I have this on my top and my bottom lashes. Let me put a little bit more on. So I don't even know if you guys can tell. I almost wish it had a little bit more purple to it. It's very mild. Like there is not a lot of purple going on. But can you just see that little bit of like, I don't even know how to explain it. It's like the purple's there, but you you don't realize it's there. It's, it's like a secret. It's like the best kept secret ever. It's fun. And I'm in my 30s. So colored mascara is not something I normally would go for. But this one, I feel like it's okay. So if you're a grown up, this is going to be okay for you. Don't be afraid of it. All right, guys. So that is going to be it for today's haul dip. But how was it? I hope that you guys enjoyed. If there are any products that I've talked about in haul videos or what's new at the drugstore and you want to know an update, you want to know how I've been liking them, just let me know down below and I will be sure to include them in my next video. Um, as far as these eyeshadows, I picked up two extra, <laughs> I picked up two extra palettes. So one person is going to win these two guys 
right here. All you have to do is subscribe to my channel, subscribe to my Twitter if you have a Twitter account, and Instagram if you don't, it's no big deal. Just make sure that you're subscribed to my YouTube channel. Comment down below, let me know something that you love about spring. And I will pick someone to win both of these palettes and I will have all of the information down below. So yeah, good luck, I love you guys. Thank you for watching and I will see you next time. Bye. So I will pick one person to win these palettes. Yes I will, yes chicken, 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 chicken. Hi guys, oh, whoa, girlfriend, girlfriend, girlfriend. Because I did not mean that.